Hi, in this video, in under three minutes, I'll explain Fleming's uh, right hand rule. So we have a short animation here where we have a magnetic field and a conductor placed in a magnetic field, the copper colored rod, and we are moving the rod upwards with the force and out comes a current from its edge. So let's start at the beginning. We have a magnet, a north pole at the far end, and we have a south pole at the near end, nearer to us. And you can see a blue arrow traveling from the north pole to the south pole. The blue arrow indicates the direction of the magnetic field lines. And um, the Fleming's right hand rule is shown in the image where you can see a right hand and the four fingers pointing in the direction of the magnetic field. And the conductor that's moved upwards in the magnetic field is indicated by the thumb. So there's a force acting on the conductor. So with these two inputs, the forefinger and the thumb, the output is the middle finger, which is pointing in the direction of the induced current. So Fleming's right hand rule is all about the three directions, which form the X, Y, and Z axis. Let's look at the animation again. Initially, the copper colored uh, conductor is stationary. When it's stationary, although it's placed in a magnetic field, nothing happens. There is no force, so there is no induced current. Now we will apply a force and move the conductor vertically upwards inside that magnetic field. As soon as we start moving the conductor, you can see the green arrow coming out of the edge of that conductor. That shows that there has been an induced current created inside the conductor. You stop the motion and the current stops too. So this is the principle of Fleming's right hand rule. Once again, to recap, we have a conductor um, at the bottom level uh, between those two magnets and uh, there is no induced current and as soon as we create a force in the vertical axis on the conductor to cut those magnetic lines you get the induced current of the conductor so no force no current and for a generator we have to keep rotating the rotor and keep the conductors cutting the magnetic lines in order to get a continuous current I hope uh, this uh, explains the Fleming's right hand rule. Thanks and have a great day.